This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about five of some of the most common causes of shoulder pain. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So, shoulder pain. One of the most common causes of shoulder pain is actually something called shoulder bursitis, which causes shoulder impingement. You can call it, they, they, the terms get used interchangeably, but essentially the idea is that above your shoulder you have your shoulder joint and then above it you have the rotator cuff and then above that you have your shoulder blade which you can feel on yourself in between there there's a space called a subacromial space meaning that it's under the acromion and that's filled with a fluid filled sac called a bursa and sometimes that'll get really irritated and that causes a lot of pain maybe when you're sleeping when you're reaching for over reaching overhead or reaching across your body so that is by and large one of the most common causes of shoulder pain in the younger individual Treatment for that is pretty straightforward with physical therapy and an injection, which helps a lot, which can be curative. Sometimes if that really doesn't get better, then there's a surgery, surgery where you can go in with a scope and basically clean it all out. But that's one of the most common causes. Two, another cause, sometimes if you get pain right in the front of your shoulder, like almost off to the side a little bit, sometimes that can actually be your biceps tendon. So your biceps tendon attaches two places in the shoulder. One is in the coracoid, which is kind of up towards the top of the shoulder, but one is actually in the shoulder itself, and that's generally what, what hurts. So if you notice that if you're moving your arm around your back or lifting up and you get this front shoulder pain, it likely can be biceps tendon pain. That usually will resolve with time, or sometimes a steroid injection will help calm the inflammation down. Um, rarely, if it doesn't get better, then they'll do surgery where you can either release the tendon and let it fly, um, or you can reattach it, uh, which is what most people generally do these days. Regardless of what you do, the biceps tendon is still attached to the coracoid, so the muscle is still functional. A third common reason to have shoulder pain is maybe you tore your rotator cuff. Usually if you have, so rotator cuff tears come in a few different varieties. You have partial thickness tears where you move your arm and it hurts, and then a full thickness tears where it, the tendon is completely torn. And if you have that, you might find that it's, it's weaker, you can't move it as much, it's weaker. Well, if it's only partially torn, you can move it, but if you put pressure against it, it hurts. Um, with rotator cuff tears, if they're not too big, sometimes you can live with them, uh, get, get rid of them with some physical therapy, uh, or make it so they don't hurt with physical therapy. If they're really torn all the way through, then really the only option there is to repair it or just to live with it. If you end up living with a torn rotator cuff for a long period of time, you'll eventually get something called rotator cuff arthritis, so that's just something good to know. Um, but again, uh, generally speaking, older population that gets that, not really old, probably middle-aged and older, generally less likely in a younger, a younger person. Um, all right, uh, reason number four. Another reason you can get it is a labral tear. So there's three different, labral, the labrum is a layer that is around kind of the socket of the shoulder, which helps hold the shoulder in place. There's three parts of it. There's kind of a top part, a back part, and a front part. Sometimes if you dislocate your shoulder, you'll tear the front part. The top part's usually from throwing or pitching, doesn't lead to any shoulder instability, and the back part's usually from like pushing activities, let's say offensive linemen or bench pressing. Um, so that could certainly be a cause. What do you do about it? It just depends. If you're dislocating your shoulder a lot, then you would need surgery to fix that. The top labrum and the back labrum, it just depends on kind of how bad the symptoms are. Sometimes you can kind of calm them down with physical therapy, even though they still may be torn. And then lastly, fifth reason for shoulder pain is shoulder arthritis. Again, older population. That will happen is when you just sort of move your shoulder around, it just hurts, generally speaking. Really easy to figure out if that's the diagnosis. Um, not only will they have pain with motion, but you can also get an x-ray and that'll just tell you right away whether there's shoulder arthritis there, assuming they get the right view um, of the shoulder, which is the Gracie view, which, which shows that, that the joint pretty well, as opposed to a standard AP, which doesn't show the joint quite as well. Um, so I hope I was able to answer your questions about five of the most, some of the most common causes of shoulder pain. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. Uh, but I can't give you a medical advice over YouTube. That would be illegal. And if you like this video, we put out new content weekly. So please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.